if we're going to need to double the food production in the next 30 years to feed the growing population, we felt there needs to be a radical change. By dividing the plant's uh, life cycle into three main sections, we're able to optimize the density in the farm. And each stage of the plant's life, it requires different spacing and inputs like light and fertilizer. So it's not just that the robots can move plants around very efficiently, it's also that they can, uh, they can help you avoid ever having a plant go bad. We're able to do the equivalent of 30 acres of outdoor farming in just a single acre of our robotic farm. So one of the great things about the robots is that they don't really get tired uh, and they don't really care what hours they work. And so as long as they've got juice in the batteries, they can keep going. Right now, fresh produce really isn't all that fresh. It's traveling on average 2,000 miles from farm to grocery store.